So hi folks, Mr. Hickey here, and this is just a short video on your question for Friday. So here it is. What were the social and economic challenges faced by Britain from 1920 to 1945? Now I've picked this question because I suppose prior to Easter, that's what you were studying. Um, the problems faced by Britain after the war through the 1920s and the 1930s. We looked at the case study as well, the, the Jara Crusade. And of course, yesterday then we looked at Britain and its social and economic problems during the war. So it's a question now, it's a question now with a broad sweep um, of 25 years. Now, what a weak student will do if they see this question is they'll only talk about Jara. And I've seen this over the years, you know, that a student will write four pages about the, the crusade, how it was organized, what happened, arriving in London, that kind of stuff. That's not what the question is looking for. Uh, again, remember, it's it's a broad sweeping, a wide sweeping question. Now, a good student will talk about interwar Britain and its many problems and then incorporate Jaro into that. OK, and um, that will take you a long way. However. What I'm hoping you will do is you will answer the set question. Remember, it wants you to talk about Britain and its problems from 1920 to 1945. Now, a rough plan for this kind of essay would see you doing the following. So in paragraphs one to three, you will talk about problems faced by post-World War I Britain, right? Uh, look at the hardship of the 1920s, uh, the general strike at the end of the 1920s, then the Wall Street crash and what followed, uh, the hungry 30s or the, or the Great Depression. Paragraphs four to six, you will then incorporate the case study, right? And I suppose you'll talk about Jarrow as being emblematic or as a sort of a symbol of the problems faced by many people in Britain in the interwar years. Then, I suppose, in the final section, paragraph seven to nine, you will incorporate the material we looked at yesterday, Britain and its social and economic problems during World War II. Okay? Now, over to you. What I would suggest is, prior to writing the essay, uh, you revise the material for 40 minutes, then put away the notes. Go away and write the essay. Again, stick to the 40 minute time limit. Now you have options, you can handwrite or type the essay into the Google Doc that I'll, I'll, I'll share with you. However, my preference is that you would handwrite the essay because this is what, this is what you will be doing in the real exam next year, hopefully. Now, once you've written the essay, I want you to photograph it with your, with, your, with, with your phone. Then I'm going to ask you to upload the pictures into the Google Doc I've created. Okay, now I'll show you how to do this. Now I click on that. Now, you're a generation, I'm told, that can do amazing things on TikTok and Snapchat, I don't think this is beyond you, right? If it is anywhere, let me know, you know, on either Google Classroom or email me. But if you go into the Google Doc on your phone, uh, you'll see this plus option here, right? You can add stuff. So click on that. This will bring you to another menu where you can click on images and this will give you the option of uploading from your camera roll. And that's, of course, where you'll have the four or five pages of the essay that you've written for me. Well, that's uh, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So let's, I'd be saying to you now, go away, do this essay, have a go. It's been a while since we've done an essay. I'm expecting people will make mistakes. Have no fear of those. They're the best teachers of all. Um, I'll have a look at the essay. Hopefully you'll get them into me pretty early on Friday. I'll have a look at them, provide feedback, and we look then at things whether you have to redraft the full essay, um, maybe finish it or do part of the essay again. Okay, so um, it's very important again, Les, that we keep on top of our work. You know, um, we have to keep going with our course and practice essays like these. All right. Hope you're keeping well, and we'll we'll talk very soon. Okay. Bye bye.